one person is killed every 12 minutes in traffic-related crashes in this country every day. It's an alarming statistic when, in comparison, a homicide takes place one in every 32 minutes. Fortunately, this was not a fatal traffic crash, but was captured on a deputy's camera during a routine patrol, a red light runner. So what's Seminole County doing about it? We're doing a red light operation right here at the corner of Lake Mary Boulevard and Lake Emma Road and uh, trying to catch violators for running the red lights. Westbound Lake Mary Boulevard, Black, Fort Ord, Nissan. <coughs> Community Traffic Safety Team is a committee which is comprised of not only law enforcement agencies but fire departments, the uh, Seminole County Schools, uh, traffic engineering and various safety groups which get together on a monthly basis and coordinate not only safety training but also enforcement operations and attempt to make our roadway safer. There's, on every intersection there's a large white stop bar. Um, once that light turns red and we can tell when the light turns red because on top of every red light there is a, a white uh, light that indicates when it turns red. Um, once that light turns red, if they're if they're behind the stop bar and they stop, then they're fine. If they're if they were past the stop bar and, or they go past the stop bar once it turns red, then they're in violation. Um, also, when they when the light is red, if they're making a right hand turn here, if they don't come to a complete stop and they just cruise through the through the right without stopping, then that's a violation as well. Confirmation lights that sit at the top of some traffic signals are a tremendous asset when it comes to safely identifying the red light runner. Actually, they're pretty close together. I think it was the Volvo. Running a red light is not only dangerous, but expensive. Motorists who are issued one of these citations can expect a fine of up to $185, in addition to three points on their driver's license. It's news that's not always so welcome to the violator. It was not red. That guy up there, yeah, he saw a red light if you were going straight. It was red for the people going straight. It was not red for me. Most are pretty unreceptive. They uh, claim it was yellow. In today's modern world, new technologies present additional challenges when it comes to keeping the roadways a safe place to travel for all. You see it all the time, people driving down the road, paying attention to their Blackberries on the cell phone. They're weaving, they're not obeying traffic laws. The Community Safety Traffic Committee takes focus on education and enforcement to communicate one clear message to our motorists. Instead of leaving late and being in a rush to get to work to where you're pushing the red lights or pushing the yellow lights and possibly running the red lights, leave home a few minutes early. Uh, expect traffic to be there, especially in Central Florida, and don't put yourself in a bind to where you find yourself pushing it. For Seminole Insight, this is Carrie Hefner.